get my free training underneath if you want to ask any questions. Um, like this person has said in the chat box, as I say, under the stream is where it is. For anyone who's going to ask me, it's blatantly under the stream. <laughs> you know, I've said it a few times. Uh, I don't want to make it a commercial. I want to make this as educational as I can. So just look, basically. And if you're coming in, smash the boost. It's great to have you on board. Um, oil, I really like uh, for long side entries with a long side bias because you're gaining momentum to the upside on renewed sentiment. Okay. And if you do get any more problems really with the Middle East or anything like that, um, you may find there's higher demand for oil. If you pull your trend line out like that, you're coming to uh, about a quarter of the way on a full. Now, that level of price action there, again, holds your probability because that's where you can see candle wicks. Lower down, there's further candle wicks. Okay, so anything really for me uh, for a long side entry is probably going to come slightly lower, about $76. That may be an ideal area. Now, remember when we're trading, we're not looking for exact prices to the decimal point. We're looking at areas, overall price areas. That's how what markets operate on. Lots of traders think they need to be bang on, dead on the decimal point, the absolute entry, but it's not the case. Okay, you want to take valid areas for long. So anything down here is ideal. Okay, and that comes, like I said, with a gaining momentum oil because you're getting higher lows and somewhat higher highs. If it becomes the case that you pull all the way back down here in line with your uptrend, your tentative uptrend, that is also going to constitute a long, but just know between that and this is about $3 of movement. So I would say if you're willing to take it long, then you want to do it really small. Okay, you want to cut your size way up because that entry there is much earlier than the more valid long side entry and higher probability entry lower. Okay. That is what trading is all about. Identifying the areas like we saw on gold to the short side, which one is early and less probable, which one is later and more probable. And when I talk about probability, I'm referring to the chance of you making money. And the reason why is because that level I've just labeled with an arrow is close to key resistance that exists just above it. This one is far off key resistance close above it. And the longer something falls, okay, the chances are eventually it's going to turn back as markets do like I said they ebb and flow over time so resting in that knowledge you will therefore gain a bias of what is and what is not probable okay or what is more probable than improbable or two areas that are more probable than each other okay a lot of use of the word probable um but nonetheless 72 and a half 73 dollars versus 76 to 76 and a half dollars are your scale and entries, but it all comes in line with the same rules. Okay, the gaining momentum over time is what you need to understand and the repetition of the market. Look at it. Look what's happening. Just you, just stop for a minute when you're trading and look at your charts and think about what's happening. You come up like that and then you fall and then you come up then you fall and then you te then you fall, but then you come up again. Every time you're coming down here, you're seeing this whack to the upside every time so when you come back what are you going to do are you going to look for the same thing okay now if it becomes the case that that area doesn't hold and it comes down here you would then look to incorporate your damage control plans which is what we teach every day in the academy i can't go into depth on it on this stream but it basically pertains to uh, hedging lowering uh, reducing adding where where is uh, ideal if you like, so that would be uh, either there or lower, depending on your drawdown on the asset. But you would always be looking for something like that. You could reshort on each move up. All of these things connect. And if you did then come lower, what's happening is you're hedging. All right, like this. So to be clear though, and to keep it simple for anyone who's interested, oil, I like it lightly long in line with this key price action. Otherwise, I would just hold off again for risk averse entries that exist much lower within your newfound tentative uptrend on oil. That has seen a big blast every time you've fallen.
to your next point of uptrending market, and that is oil.